one of the main reasons I'm doing this trip is I guess just make myself feel something and, and find a certain amount of inspiration but like I was in the creek there and I was thinking about it and I was thinking it's not gonna happen that that song title you've been waiting for your whole life pops into your head or a lyric pops into your head I guess you do things that feel good for your soul to see incredible things and you do enough of that and then it brings you closer to feeling inspired or or switching that light bulb on in your head a little bit. The uh, oh, <laughs> fucking hell! The uh, the reason I'm breathing like a maniac is because I underestimated how quickly the sun could set, but. I'm about to catch the first sunset of the whole trip. I always knew how vast America was, but to kind of see it and to just maybe be a bit closer to understanding the beauty of this country, I think is important for me as a person and my life, you know? So, um, that's a good reason for this trip, yeah. How I grew up, we had a big garden and we preserved our own food. Raised a few animals, put those in the freezer or in the jars, hunted, fished. So, no matter what, if I can get a pack of the seeds, I can feed myself. I remember being here probably about two years ago or something, and just thinking that having a show here was the most outrageous notion I could come up with and I put one on sale I'm going to do one this August and uh, it sold out incredibly quickly which was unbelievable I haven't seen the fear in a man's eyes when he knows I'm going to kill him that's one thing I need to see before uh, before I turn four <laughs> yeah I can't think of any three-year-old that's seen that <laughs> well <laughs> yeah 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 I'm very mature. <laughs> All right, you already said that. So, uh, just had a tornado warning in the town I was in uh, called Greensburg in Kansas. You can probably hear it's pretty windy in the car at the moment, but uh, what kind of love slash be terrified to see a tornado? I guess I spend a lot of time worrying that I won't reach my full potential that's the truth and i don't tell anyone that really i tell nobody that because if you tell someone who loves you and someone who knows you they'll just be like oh you will or like they'll be like oh but oh you're doing so well and it's like no i know but like i'm trying to do better and i'm whatever 29 now and I know that doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things, even, but it does, if we're being honest, you know? So, yeah, I definitely do spend a good bit of time afraid that I won't reach those heights. As time goes on, I'm getting closer to knowing what the album is going to be like. I'm trying to get to the bottom of how I feel, you know? And what I'd like to say and and what I'd like to get off my chest, I guess. That's exciting but challenging too, you know? Like, it's such a teeny window between album one and album two. I know it's a cliche thing, but like, you've got your whole life to make your first album. That's what they all say, and it's so fucking true. And every experience you had goes into it, all these songs, blah, 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 it's all your story. Between album one and album two, you almost have to just have a whole life getting dark now I can honestly say 
I don't mind when it gets dark and I'm driving. I've had multiple calls with home where they're like, oh Jesus, be careful when it gets dark when you're driving. And uh, I don't really care. The Fresh Prince is at dinner with Tatiana, no lie. All these 90s fantasies on my mind. The difference is that we're mine. They all come true in due time. I might come through without security to check if you're fine. That's just me on my solo, like fucking like y'all don't want it to tell you. Accept yourself. You don't have to prove shit to no one except yourself. And if you end up needing some extra help, then I can help. You know, back on your feet and shit. So I'm going to. Eau Claire in Wisconsin today. I kind of thought, like, I gotta see that because Bonnie Iver to me is definitely the most important music I've ever come across, and it, it, like, no other project or album or artist has played more of a part in my own development as a person and as a musician. So I thought, like, is that kind of weird that I'm going all the way there, not even to get in the studio with them or to talk to them or anything? just to kind of see where that music comes from. So many people go to Graceland to see about Elvis and to learn about Elvis and, and, and no one ever questions that. So I definitely shouldn't question going to Eau Claire in Wisconsin, considering how much Bon Iver means to me. So, uh, and I just saw a sign for Eau Claire and um, crazy feeling, honestly. realized with this video people will now blatantly see that this disgraceful um, attempt at facial hair is where I'm at over a two-week period gonna miss you man <laughs> I miss, like, there's a big difference, you know? Like, there's all lovely trees around here and it's all very beautiful, but I'm looking forward to Irish air and Irish trees and Irish grass and Irish dirt. It's important. It's the most important, actually, potentially. Not just Ireland, but I think having that connection with where you're from. All right, I'm gonna focus because I'm coming up to the hometown of Bon Iver and I, I wanna just sort of enjoy it. God bless you all. <laughs>